Hello everyone, I am Bilal Sharif. Welcome to Incredible India series. In this episode, we are going to see Rock Garden of Chandigarh. In last episode, we have seen Sukhna Lake of Chandigarh, which is an artificial lake. In this video, we are going to see Rock Garden, which is located at a distance of 2 km from Sukhna Lake. You will find this rock at the entrance with some details about Rock Garden of Chandigarh. The timings of this garden differ in summer and winter season. In summer, it's open from 9 am to 7 30 pm. In winter, it's open from 9 am to 6 pm for visitors. If you have come across Mirror House in any amusement park, then Rock Garden is similar to that. Once you enter Rock Garden, you have to find directions to come out of it. And you have to be prepared to walk at least 1 or 2 kilometers inside to find the exit. And there is a notice for visitors that you have to wear mask all the time inside this garden and also maintain the required social distance. This rock garden consists of man-made waterfalls and many sculptures that have been made of scrap and other kind of waste materials such as used bottles, glasses, bangles, tiles, pots, electric waste etc. And these are placed in the walled path. Entry fee for this rock garden is just 30 rupees for adults and for children it's 10 rupees. You will find some information about this garden while walking inside. This rock garden was built in the year 1957 by officer Nick Chan single-handedly in his spare time and it has become a long-standing symbol of imagination and novelty in the city of Chandigarh. This rock garden has at least 5000 statues inside and experts believe that this rock garden is a true example of best from waste. Because this rock garden is made from urban and industrial waste materials. If you are new to my channel then don't forget to subscribe and also try to check out the 10 episodes which I have uploaded earlier in Incredible India series and you can find the details in the description of this video and share this video with your friends and family members This rock garden also known as Nick Chan Saini's rock garden after its founder Nick Chan Saini who was a government official who started this garden secretly in his spare time in 1957. This rock garden is spread over an area of 40 acres. Like mirror house in any amusement park, once you enter this rock garden, you have to search and find the exit to come out of this garden. In few places you can see arrow marks that shows the direction towards exit but in most places you won't find any clues and you have to move along with the crowd. This rock garden has man-made waterfalls, I will show you that. Again this is an artificial one and I will show you the main waterfalls which was man made which is inside. You have to be very careful while walking. To understand the history of this rock garden, we have to start with Nick Chan who was the creator of this rock garden. In 1951, a 27 years old Nick Chan arrived in Chandigarh to work as a railroad inspector. In his spare time, he started collecting curiously shaped rocks and other waste materials. During the night, he could sneak these materials into publicly owned forests. He was creating sustainable art by utilizing waste materials that is often sent to landfills. And 
एंड हियर इट इज मैन मेड वॉटरफॉल्स This rock garden is also famous for being one of the most eco-friendly gardens in the country as it has been built from home waste and industrial waste materials. On an average, this rock garden has 5000 visitors every day and has had 12 million visitors since it opened. In 1984, the creator of this rock garden, Nick Chand, won India's Padma Shri award for distinguished service in arts. Not just this, he was recognized globally. He got awards in Paris, Washington DC, and he was also requested to design a fantasy garden at National Children's Museum. And I feel Nick Chand is once in a lifetime artist whose work inspires us all to be more sustainable. This rock garden has become almost a heritage site. Artists from all over the world flock to see this unique and amazing creation. find dolls museum inside this rock garden and it was recently inaugurated by vp singh to mark the second death anniversary of nick chan the artist nick chan who created this rock garden died 6 years before that is in 2015 dolls museum inside this rock garden comprises 200 rag dolls made from waste cloth and those dolls were made by nick chan in 1970s Watch this video till the end I will show you the dolls museum which is inside this rock garden As you keep walking through this rock garden, doors after doors, you will finally be rewarded with the best kind of art done by Nick Chan. This rock garden is divided into three phases, with entry and exit located parallelly to each other. The first phase of this rock garden includes idle landscaping elements for a garden that is waterfalls, streams, bridges and trees. And these waterfalls and lush green surroundings account for the most photographic location of rock garden and making it one of the most picturesque places to visit in Chandigarh. And the second phase of this rock garden begins soon after one moves ahead of waterfall towards the right. The third and the final phase of this rock garden leads into ample open sculpture garden and these display depict the idea of beautifying waste as they have been composed of tiles, pots and bottle scraps. I really enjoyed this rock garden and it is one of the must visit destination in Chandigarh. This rock garden is located in sector 1 of Chandigarh, the most geometrically planned city of India. This rock garden can be easily accessed from all parts of the city. As I said earlier, it is located at a distance of 2 km from Sukhna Lake which we have seen in the last episode. Please mind your head while walking inside this rock garden. This rock garden of Chandigarh is 24 km away from Chandigarh's international airport and it can be easily accessed by cabs, buses, autos or personal vehicles. If you are new to my channel then don't forget to subscribe and also try to check out the 10 episodes which I have uploaded earlier in Incredible India series and you can find the details in the description of this video. As I said earlier, Nick Chan Saini who created this rock garden passed away 6 years ago that is on June 12, 2015. After that, this garden is taken care by his son Anuj Saini and the Nick Chan Foundation. 
Gardens are always special. Since childhood, we develop an unexplainable love for gardens. And if you're one of those who love visiting gardens, you must visit Rock Garden of Chandigarh. This rock garden is the best place for exploration and walks. The sculptures are unique and will definitely pep up your Insta feed. You can also learn about waste management and creativity. You will also be able to enjoy the great outdoors at this amazing place. I'm walking towards phase 3 of this rock garden where we can see Dolls Museum. If you already visited this rock garden then share your experience in the comment section of this video. The layout of this garden is based on the fantasy of a lost kingdom. In this rock garden one has to pass through a variety of doorways, archways, streets and lanes of different scales and dimensions. While walking inside this rock garden, I experienced the suspense and curiosity at every turn at every corner thinking what will be the next. If you like this video then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. In next episode I am planning to cover Zakir Hussain's Rose Garden of Chandigarh. at least one and a half or two hours to enjoy this rock garden if you are planning to visit this rock garden in the morning then don't forget to have your breakfast because you have to walk for at least one or 1.5 kilometers inside in my next episode of incredible india series i am planning to cover asia's largest rose garden which is in chandigarh of punjab if you are new to my channel or if you already subscribed to my channel then try to hit the bell icon so that you get updated whenever I upload a new episode.